while it is true that humanity could commit all of its errors on its own. To have the support of the intervention only makes the hazards greater. This is being done in a completely hidden way. While the intervention will present itself to its believers and its advocates as a benign and spiritual force, in reality it will be supporting the very forces that undermine humanity's integrity, its unity and its self-confidence. The intervention will undermine people's belief and confidence in their leaders and their institutions, thus fostering a vacuum of confidence that can easily be shifted to a foreign power that is presenting itself as a benign and advanced race. This is the nature of deception that is placed upon a weak and divided humanity, a deception generated by several competing groups of economic collectives who seek to have advantage here. Such activities and deception have been used by humanity as well. So these are understandable to you. Technology only aids the intervention in remaining hidden and in giving it certain powers over people's physical response to their presence. But it is the power of persuasion in the mental environment. The power of making people think what the intervention wants them to think. To feel what the intervention wants them to feel and to do what the intervention wants them to do that represents its greatest strength and advantage here. The intervention cannot use force, and it is not a military presence, so it does not have this capability. It will use its greatest strength, which is the power of persuasion, and it is using this to great effect. It has not won its objective yet. It has not achieved its goals yet. But every day the intervention grows stronger. Every day its influence becomes more pervasive. Every day its effort to pacify human resistance and to direct human activity increases. For it seeks to pacify those who would resist it and to encourage human conflict at the same time. The intervention is here to encourage the loss of faith in human leadership and human institutions. It is here to strengthen its presence as the saviors of humanity. Whether the reins of power would be given to it publicly and visibly or whether it would occur behind the scenes. The intervention needs tremendous human assistance and support. It must do this to satisfy those who are watching its presence here from afar. And it must do this to gain ascendancy in the world without destroying the world's resources or endangering their ultimate goals here. You have the power to resist this. You have the power to resist this and many other forms of intrusion that will be attempted in the future. Humanity does not know its own strength, and that is why it is so vulnerable. Humanity does not recognize its advantage in living in a highly populated region of space where military conquest is not allowed and where war and violence are rare. You do not realize the advantage this gives you. If you raise your voice against the intervention, it is put at risk. If you oppose the intervention, if enough people can do this, the intervention must withdraw. Other attempts will be made in the future, for the world is a prize. And humanity is part of the value of the world for those who seek to have it for themselves. This is the nature of life and the universe. The advancement of technology does not override these tendencies. It does not eliminate corruption and deception. It makes the acquisition of resources more urgent and more difficult to accomplish. And it makes worlds such as yours, which contains such a wealth of biological materials, amazingly valuable to other races who seek to use these things and have access to them for themselves. Surely you must know and understand that if you have power and wealth in the universe, there will be competition. Only if you believe that you are truly alone and isolated in space could you think otherwise. But you are not alone, and you are not isolated. 
Now that you have gained a certain degree of technological ability and have built a technology for others to use, the motivation for intervention will become stronger and the attempt to gain human allegiance and to gain the reins of power will be invested in greatly yet as we have said. Humanity has the power to offset the intervention, to build a boundary between itself and the universe and to establish its own rules of engagement. Regarding who may visit here and under what circumstances visitation may occur, you have not assumed this power, but it is there for you to assume, and assume it you must. It is this emphasis on humanity's overall vulnerability that can create a sufficient motivation for human unity and cooperation to be established at a greater level. Humanity must establish unity, self-sufficiency and discretion. It must learn how to do this over time using whatever resources are at its disposal. If human unity is to provide freedom in the future, it must be a unity based upon consensus and awareness and a greater community understanding. It is this awareness and understanding that we wish to support in these series of briefings. We are not here to provide what people may want to hear out of curiosity or fascination but instead to provide those things that are essential for your progress and for the defense of your world. For you do not know your vulnerability, and you do not know your strength. These must become known to you. If you do not know your vulnerability, you will not see the need for your strength. And if you do not realize your strength, your vulnerability can overtake you. This is life in your world and life throughout the universe. This is what every race must face if it is to become strong and free. This is the responsibility that comes with power and wealth. You possess some power and a great deal of wealth in the resources of this world. Therefore, you must become responsible, and your people must be united in this cause. If they are kept in ignorance regarding the greater community, they will not understand the great need of humanity, and their focus on their activities will not support the establishment of human unity, self-sufficiency and discretion.